All right, let's move along. My last angle before we go to my honorable mention. So this is the last full angle that we're covering today. And this is uh, Mina Shirakawa oh, and Mariah <laughs> This um, is another one that made no sense, bro. <laughs> it's a show that, uh, full of things that made no sense. Championship celebration. So Mariah May had won her championship, I don't know what, like two months ago now? But she hadn't wanted to do the celebration without Mina Shirakawa, who has been – in Japan, plus Mina's been like, seems like not wanting to come over because of Mariah's new attitude and personality, so they might not. They're they're in like a weird lesbian same sex kind of re- relationship, right? I don't know. It's, I, I, can't. <laughs> I guess <laughs> they've never really clarified it, but anyways, so Mina came out and she can't really speak English that well. And she introduced Mariah, and they did their thing, and they had a, a glass of champagne, right? Um, they swigged the champagne, and then uh, they did they did a celebration. So Mar- here's me and Sharikawa dancing. So they're having a good time. <laughs> I mean, that's how you ce- that's how you celebrate, Robert. That's true. If you're gonna that's... you're gonna celebrate, you gotta you gotta do some dancing. That's uh, right. So then this is this is where everything hit the fan because I was like something's gonna happen here, but uh, Vlad, did you see this? Are you watching this or what? <laughs> yes, I, uh, first of all, I saw this and yes. Uh, oh, okay. Um, I thought you didn't see this. Okay, so we can get a rating from you then when, when I'm done with this. But okay, so while Mina's dancing and she's got her back turned to Mariah, Mariah's got that uh, champagne bottle. She's gonna crack her in the head with it, and then she turns around. Mina Shirakawa turns around and then. Mariah misses horribly. So, again, another fake-looking thing. And then Mina sees, holy shit, she just fucking turned on me. What the hell? It's a crazy moment. And they look at each other. Mina's, like, pissed off. She yells at her. And then she spears her off the entrance ramp onto some (laughs) fucking uh, table. (laughs) Table. And uh, they both look fucked up. Actually, this is is not over. Watch how Mina Shirakawa comes up out of this look. (laughs) I don't know. That looked really good. I don't know. (laughs) I don't know if that's real blood, first of all. But uh, she she's distraught. Oh, the humanity of it. I mean, God, this is this is just really, really raw human emotion. You know, what the hell are so, you talking about, bro? That well, imagine if you were betrayed by someone that you thought loved you out of nowhere all of a sudden. And Mina Shirakawa just looks fucking pissed off and distraught and, and insane, crazed. So, yeah. All right, that's the, let's the, and here's Mariah May fucking unconscious. <laughs> so, okay, uh, ratings for our last angle today. Uh, I got, Robert gave it a half thumbs up. He kind of liked it. And for me, this was the only thing on the show I gave two thumbs up to. So I fucking... <laughs> for, Mar- for me to share a cow and, and the sheer emotion of it, man, it fucking got yeah. me. So I was surprised. I'm, I'm crying I, now, too. I was surprised that I really loved it because I was, I was kind of like, what the fuck is going to happen in this scene? I thought it was going to be stupid. I thought it was stupid that they advertised it to be a segment on the on the pay-per-view but okay anyways um so me, me i loved it uh i guess i'm glad do you want to comment on it you guys yes, you, yes, you yes, I, 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 I badly want to comment on it <laughs> okay go ahead man. Well, the funny thing is Kayla thought it was going to be stupid and he was right it was absolutely <laughs> stupid <laughs> but i still loved it <laughs> but he still loved it yeah no okay well they've been this champagne celebration for like three months now ever since she won they've been like we gotta have this champagne celebration, we gotta have this champagne celebration. so finally they have it and i guess it's to go into an angle i i, I don't understand why mariah may want to turn on her like specifically it doesn't really make sense she's it not, never does any, with her she's just evil she's, or something she's, I don't know. she's no th- she's no threat to her she doesn't want her title or anything she's not she just wants to be like celebrated with her so i don't understand why she's attacking her but what's even worse here is that the heel was left lane and not to be again they reverse how things are supposed to be she's supposed to be Mina shirakawa whatever the hell her name is lane not the other way around the, Okay, I, I mean, I give up. I, I just, I just give up. It's, it's all, it's all reversed 
it all makes no sense. It's like the twi- like watching AW is like watching the Twilight Zone. Everything is like backwards. Everything that is, is true. Is, this was a very backwards pay per view. A lot of heels winning, a lot of weirdness. But okay, but, uh, yeah. <laughs> let me give Robert I, I time up. to talk. I give up, right? Robert. You get you kind of like wait. What what would have been your rating on this, right, Vlad? Before uh, I moved, the- I would have given I would have given it some time. I might have given it two, but probably just to be nice, based on the fact. Plus, they were doing all this stuff in, in like heels. I mean, like what was that? They were flying around the ring and heels. It was insane. What he had them doing out there. But anyways, so one uh, one thumb down would have been fine. Thumbs down. All right. Well, Robert, you gave this a half thumbs up, so you kind of liked it. So let's hear some thoughts. <laughs> okay. So. About halfway through this segment before the turn, I, I was ready to give this two thumbs up because I was actually actually expecting some HLA. I was like, "Let's get it on." <laughs> oh <my laughs> that, God, that's, that's what I was. That's what I was waiting for. That that, that would have been real human emotion to me. <laughs> well, but, sure. So, so yeah. I was. I was ready to. I was. I was ready to really like this. But <laughs> yeah, that, <laughs> but that, that, that's that what didn't... people were expecting, maybe. But that didn't. Turn out to be the case. The turn happened. It was still the way it was executed was still pretty cool. So that, that's why I still gave it half, half thumbs up. But I would have uh, liked it a lot more if it went according to how I thought it was going to. Go. <laughs> I feel you. All right. Well, good comments, Robert. All right. Cool. That'll conclude my show. Today, the Malapert Smart Podcast, episode number 136. Uh, I do got some honorable mentions, though, that I will throw at you real quick uh, before we call it a night. So these are things that didn't quite make it that we're going to not cover in depth, but I'll just mention them. But I want to mention Jack Perry and Daniel Garcia. Daniel Garcia winning the TNT title, which, uh, Robert, I don't know if you, you missed this on Dynamite, but there was a crazy segment where – you know, Daniel Garcia captured Jack Perry and, you know, talked to him. I don't know where this is, in some freaking warehouse garage somewhere. or something. Yeah, some warehouse somewhere. And, you know, it, it was a crazy scene. But this was from Collision, really, but they replayed it on Dynamite. But uh, for the match itself, uh, like I said, Daniel Garcia did uh, win the match. But I didn't really like how it happened because basically uh, – Jack Perry just said, you know, go ahead and hit me. Just let him hit him. He did that weird thing where he was super brave. And then that, that led to Daniel Garcia just hitting a bunch of moves on him and putting him in the sharpshooter and making him tap out. So, yeah, Jack Perry acted all like he was trying to be all tough and gave Daniel Garcia the opening to attack him. And then Daniel Garcia won the match. So, uh, I don't know. I mean, I, I want to give it just some praise because of the feud that I liked, but I didn't really love the ending of the match. If they were going to put Daniel Garcia over, I think they should have just put him over. But uh, what did we give this? What did Robert give this? I gave it a half thumbs up, and Robert liked it. Robert gave it a full thumbs up. So, all right. I don't know. Unless you guys have any thoughts about Jack Perry and Daniel Garcia. Uh, Robert, if you want to say anything, I'll move on to my second honorable mention. I know. Just, uh, let's go ahead and move on. Oh, wait. Actually, you know what? Since we're uh, on full gear, and I'm done with full gear, with that honorable mention, I'm completely done with full gear. So um, let's we could give our closing thoughts on full gear, I guess, right now. So there were some other matches, uh, like we mentioned earlier, Hangman Page versus Jay White, uh, MJF versus Roderick Strong, Takeshita versus Ricochet, and Private Party retaining tag titles in a four-way match to open the show. So uh, overall thoughts, Robert, I mean, you gave it a very strong score. If you look at your post with your mm-hmm. reviews and all the thumbs up you added up, it was a plus 9.5. So that's a very oh. – I mean, that yeah. from that, the sound of that, it sounded like it was a good show. But uh, you want to give any final thoughts about Full Gear before we move on to my last honorable mentions? This decent. I will. It, it didn't start off very well for me. That that um, four way tag match. I thought. Yeah. I, I must have given that a low score. I don't remember what I gave it, but I don't think I gave it a high score. And plus, I I've missed two of the past three dynamites, so I don't know why people all of a sudden are booing Max Caster. That was so that that was new to me. Um, I don't know. It didn't start off well, but the rest of it was decent. So I don't know. 
Yeah. You did B give that B, B minus, huh? Okay. B minus right. like overall or is, yeah, B minus. Interesting. Mm -hmm. You did give that four way tag match a indifferent, so that wasn't okay. a low rating on that one. But uh, also a weird thing from that tag match, I don't know if you guys noticed this. Well, first of all, uh, Max Caster, he doesn't want to be in the Acclaimed anymore. They're going to break that up. That's going to happen. Uh, yeah, that was, that was pretty uh, obvious watching watching the match, but I just didn't I, – I don't know the, the angles yeah. leading up to this, so I don't know what happened previously. There's really that nothing – it's like on Rampage, they'll have like promo times or interviews backstage, and Caster will just seem like annoyed with Bowens. I think he's over him. He's over okay. him, like, yelling and saying, you know, everyone loves the acclaimed. He just doesn't – I don't think he's into it anymore. He wants to move on from this. So they're planning their breakup. And there was that one spot. I don't know if you know this. I bookmarked it, actually. I don't know if you guys saw this, but there was a weird spot oh, yeah. where Caster and Bowens were in the ring together. And, oh, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. He, they, and he, he tried to take the fall for They, they tried to take a, a fall from each other, and yeah. the commentators were like, can we even do that? You know what I mean? <laughs> It's like is the, they didn't even know what the rules was, and then the referee started counting. <laughs> God damn this computer, <laughs> Jesus! Because it was what, like one they guy's the legal guy, me. and the other guy's the, not me. the legal guy. So they, what the fuck is that? Anyway, so uh, no. Vlad, uh, this is yeah. your chance to give overall thoughts on Full Gear. It, it seemed like a, it seemed like an all right show. I guess it had it had a decent card but you know like like we said well, a lot of weird booking well i think you know i was listening i was listening to people review it and i like to play well the matches were this and they were so good and this aw is known for this is like this is great wrestling but if, if none of it makes any goddamn sense at the end of it can you really say it's a good match i mean you could appreciate some of the work quote unquote i just don't consider everybody kicking out of everything a good work match I just, I don't. I, I, that's not what I consider good wrestling. I know a lot of people do, and that's why they're, like, praising the matches here. But I just don't see it that way. So I thought the majority of this stuff made no sense. It was illogical. It was dumb. I would even go as far as to say it was dumb. And, I mean, it's this classic AEW. I, I don't know what else to say. I mean, I would give it a very poor grade as a whole. Uh, probably, like, a D. Maybe even an F. But I would probably a D, just to be nice. I'm not saying right. the wrestlers are bad, but Jesus, I mean. Christ. All right, all right. No, well, you you got your point across. No, I I feel what you're saying. All right, well, that's cool. But anyone out there who has fun with it, I'm sorry if we're shitting on your fun, but uh, that's just how we feel. That's what we have to analyze okay. this stuff. We have to call it. What are you talking about? Like, why do we have to apologize for calling bad stuff bad? Like, if it's bad, it's bad, and we move on. And if they don't, hey, don't think Robert it's bad, enjoyed it, so he had a good time with it. He didn't feel like it was a waste of your time. No. No. No, well, except for that first match, but but um, everything else. I did was like fine. Uh, I did like Private Party coming out. I gave it a half thumb for Private Party's ring walk entrance with all those mm -hmm. girls and the dance they did. I don't know if you remember that. So, yeah. <laughs> anyways. Yeah.